this video will give you a clearer view of what we have been learning and from what we have learned so far we try to explain a number of things the first thing we explained was in the application layer and we talked about the HTTP protocol then we went to the transport layer and we talked about user datagram protocol and transmission control protocol from there we went to the network layer and we talked about the internet protocol then the data link layer and we talked about the ethernet and what you need to know about these layers is that it has a lot of protocol that are related to ethernet and wireless networks or wireless local area networks the last one was about the physical layer and this is the layer that sends data from device one which is the device that is sending to device two which is the receiving device and this happens in form of bits and these bits are transferred over electrical cables in form of signals you need to understand the interrelationship between each layer and the first thing is you need to know that the application layer is the beginning uh, it set data to transport layer then we go to network layer data link and the physical layer that is when a device is sending data to another device in the network if you want to start from physical layer you will assume the device is receiving data from the network what depends on where you start is the process is it a, a sending process or is it a receiving process and this is what now makes it easier for you to understand when you are receiving data it will come through a cable if this is computer a sending data to to us and we assume that we are computer B you will receive data in form of signals in this physical layer then you're going to take it up the data link layer and we say the physical and data link layer works together they support each other to the point that the data link will provide the rules or the protocols under which the data will be transferred in the physical media where the physical layer will interpret those rules and convert them to bits that can be sent over electrical cables in forms of electrical signals that is the first part of the tcpip model you need to understand